Hello ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have recently bought a tablet PC. It's called the Voyo A15 and I have after careful uh, being very careful and going through a lot of forums I've upgraded the firmware on the tablet um, and I've while I was reading the forums I've come across a lot of people complaining that they've bricked their tablets. I don't know how they've done that but um, perhaps it might have been the SD card they used or the way they did it or maybe it's the wrong firmware I don't know but I'm going to show you how it's done properly and to, to show you I'm going to use a cheap um, micro SD card that I got from China it's a class 4, 4 gig um, these are things that you got to keep in mind that the SD card should not be more than 8 gigs or more, it should be either a 4 gig or an 8 gig. Um, also, do not format your SD card from a phone or a tablet because I think it leaves invisible files there that you can't see, um, and that might sort of um, impact the upgrade of the firmware negatively. I don't know. I have a um, uh, memory card reader thing in the jig on the computer that I stick the card into and through that I format uh, my micro SD card and this is the latest one but I'm gonna format over this I do realize it's the latest firmware is much more better still has kinks though some problems um, once or twice I realized um, I came across it being very sluggish I don't know why most of the times it's really super fast um, when I'm playing Candy Crush, it was like extremely slow, like really, really slow. I don't know why that was happening, but that only happened to me once so far. Um, yeah, so head on over to the website for Voyo homepage, which is, just give me a second. I, no, that's not it. Here we go. Okay, that is myvoyo.com BBS forum. Um, official forum home uh, yeah so just myvoyo.com I think and you'll probably take you to the web page uh, where was it okay here we go so it is myvoyo.com um, you go to firmware downloads oops Make sure you use Chrome browser for this and um, so that it automatically translates the Chinese into English um, because the other uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer doesn't do so automatically. So you just come into firmware download. And okay. Q101 generation of blah blah blah. blah. Look at the date 27th of the 7th. Size 456 megabytes. Description. Uh, you just head on over to download and click yes. And it'll start downloading. Once it's downloaded, um, extract it into a folder. And what you will come across is. Uh, here we go, to that folder, you open that up, well I'm not going to do that because um, I've already installed that, I want to try the firmware before um, to see what kind of a difference it's going to make, so I'm going to go ahead and install this one, this is just one upgrade before that one, um, there should be 13 files here, you need to copy all of that to the root of the SD card, so let me just stick my SD card in here. Okay, there it is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to format my SD card to FAT32. So this is only a 4 gig micro SD card. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Close. Open up the page. Push it over. And just copy all of that onto the root of the SD card. So it's, it shouldn't be inside a folder. It should all be out. And once that's finished copying, um, while that's copying, what we'll do now is we'll switch off the voyeur. Because don't put your memory card in while the tablet PC is on there because it might put files in there that you don't want, like invisible files that you don't want. So it's best to just switch it off. And when it, once it is switched off, then uh, put your micro SD card into there. And it's also a good idea to um, put a charger cable in there just in case you don't know how much battery life there is um, on there. I don't think the, uh, the sensor is right. Uh, it doesn't tell you how much battery life really is in there. Um, it's one of the disappointing things for me is the battery life on this tablet and the charger. Um, I didn't really like this type of charger. I was hoping it might be a micro SD card or mini SD card or something. Ah, uh, SD card. Micro USB or a mini USB. Um, so I can charge it on the car, in the car or when I take it out somewhere so I don't have to take the actual charger along with me or in case I lose this I don't have anything to charge a tablet with I think that was one of the disappointing things for me with this tablet okay and now it's copied over and we'll just go ahead and eject the micro SD card okay Oops. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. ah, bloody stand. It's a bit hard doing this with one hand. Come on. Okay. SD card is in there. Now, when you start the tablet, what you need to do is um, press the volume down and power button together and hold uh, until you see some orange writing on the left top hand side of the tablet. So, volume down. So, you want to press volume down and power at the same time. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard, but I'll try to do it. Ugh, come on. Yeah, I, ca I can't do that. I've got to put the phone down for a second. Okay. So, yep, around now. And this is the type of writing you'll see. And you've got, you got to wait and be patient. Update bootloader. And once it's done, it'll power off. Then you can just power back on. I wait a couple of like, wait a minute or so after it powers off. Just I don't know. To be safe, I guess. Um, and once it's done, you can just power back on and it'll boot up. Um, more than likely, once it boots up, it'll boot up into Chinese writing. The first thing you do is just go into settings. On your left hand side towards the middle, you'll see a whole lot of Chinese writing, but one would have uh, like a picture of a uh, capital A, I think it is. Click on that, or touch that, and on the right hand side, click your first option that's right at the top, and you'll have a list of languages that you can download. Oh wait, I'll, I'll do it. And I'll show you. It's much more easy to show you than to explain. I hope um, people will watch my video before they go ahead and upgrade their firmware. Um, because like I said, too many people have bricked their tablets and they have to spend extra money to send it back to China. Okay, now I think it's done. I'm just going to press the power button. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a warrior. I think the first boot up will take a little bit longer. Um, 
than what it does normally. Uh, I think that's just quite normal. Just give me a second, I'll turn the light off. Okay. I'm recording this through my Galaxy Note 2. It's the only decent camera I got at the moment. Yeah, I've got the tablet from AliExpress. It came with a leather case and the stand. All up, I think it came to about $230 with um, DHL delivery. So all all up with Express delivery, $230. Um, it it was of it was actually something like two hundred and uh, three hundred and thirteen dollars something sorry, and after the conversion currency conversion and so on it all up, costed me something like three hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, it's booted up and oh. uh, yeah, press OK. Uh, go into settings. Okay, on the where is it? Oh, there we go. Don't know if you can see. Just give me a second. Yeah, there's the A there. You click on the A. And then you go to the top of the list and pick the first one. Oops, I'll, I'll go back. So, you go to the top of the list and you, you click on the first one and then you have your languages. Mine is English Australia, and yeah, so then turn your, well not even it, your Wi-Fi, and put in your Google account and all that, and you're done, set to go. Um, good luck with that, if you have any questions, just, you know, um, ask. Uh, you might also want to write down your experiences, uh, what you think might have been, or might have done wrong, or maybe ways of improving things uh, I think a lot of people uh, I hope a lot of people watches this video so they don't break their device I think it's a, it's really bad that it hap it's happening to people um, yeah but look the device isn't too bad it is fast it is good but it is too early for it I think until there is a decent firmware that fixes most of the problems um, people should just hold off and wait um, also Skype, the camera doesn't work on Skype, um, yeah, you can see the other side, but they can't see you, because your, their camera, your camera freezes, uh, I think that should be addressed, um, the lagginess, every now and then, but I don't know why it lags, and the battery, I don't know why it's sucking so much power, it's 11,500 milliamp battery, um, fair enough, the screen's big, the, CPU is power hungry, but still, it shouldn't. It should give you more than three, four hours. And good luck to everyone, and enjoy.